Right, not long now until the 2020 Formula One season gets underway. Testing starts in Barcelona next week. Someone who's been there and done it all before is the 2009 champion Jensen Button. Jensen, great to have you in the studio. Thanks for coming in. Uh, well, like, I suppose the obvious question is, with Lewis Hamilton doing six with, well, six in total, five with Mercedes, can he make it seven and equal Michael Schumacher? Uh, I think the answer is yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, Mercedes, uh, since 2014, have been so strong. You know, they've been the team to beat. Uh, and I really don't think 2020 is going to be uh, any different. Uh, I do feel that Ferrari ended the season on a, you know, on a high. So coming into this year with, with no, you know, no regulation changes, they should be there fighting with, with Mercedes. That's what we're all hoping for because we want a good fight. We, want, we don't want Lewis to have it too easy for his seventh <laughs> title. So, you know, you've got Ferrari, you've got two guys there that should be challenging for the World Championship. You know, Charles Leclerc, uh, his first year at Ferrari was exceptional, but he was the rookie, if you like, fighting for the World Championship. This year, he's got a lot more experience, so hopefully he's going to be a guy there fighting with Lewis. And Sebastian Vettel, multiple uh, F1 World Champion. It's an important year for him. You know, last year he, he got beaten by his teammate, uh, you know, on points. This year he's really got to go out there and show what he can do. And if he does, he'll be fighting for that world championship. And we've heard Toto Wolff saying today that he'll begin contract negotiations with Hamilton when he returns from America. How integral is he to this team? Which one? Toto or Lewis? <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> uh, both, but Le Lewis. Yeah, Hamilton. they both are. You know, it's, it's a team sport. You know, you don't win on your own in, in Formula One. It's, you know, they're... I think it, it, uh, Mercedes now, there are 1,500 odd people, I think, um, over the, the uh, building the car and, and also the power unit. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of people that need to do their job correctly. So it's, it's a big team sport. Um, obviously, the people that you see are Toto Wolff um, running the team uh, and Lewis Hamilton, the big star, the, the driver. So, um, yeah, they're both very important to this team. And, and Lewis has done exceptionally well. He's always been given the car to, to fight for the World Championship, but he's got the job done. Um, I really do hope this year is, he has more of a challenge from, from other teams, because I think he wants that as well. He wants to have that fight with, with great drivers like Max Verstappen and, mm. uh, and Charles Leclerc. When we talk about a new contract, though, uh, surely Lewis has, holds all the cards, doesn't he? Because he's a very successful driver. And is there another alternative for him, for Mercedes? Could, could they find a different driver if it wasn't going to be him? Yeah, you've got to look at it from the other side as well. You know, they're giving him a car that can, can help him win uh, world championships. Uh, that doesn't, that's not easy to find. So uh, I don't think he's holding all the cards. I think, uh, to be fair, I think they'll come up with a deal pretty easily. They both want the same thing. They're winning championships together uh, multiple years. So I, I don't think it's, it's too much of a talking point. Uh, they might try and make it to be one, and, and Lewis might try and get the upper hand, but... What a great partnership, and they should continue, I really do think. Let's get into uh, a bit more uh, their challengers and where you see them coming from, the real threats this year, and maybe the top drivers that you see are going to really press, press on. Yeah, I think both Ferrari drivers, uh, they've, they've had a few incidents, uh, or they did have a few incidents in 2019. Uh, hopefully this year that won't be the case. Uh, they're both very quick. I think last year they were trying to find their position within the team. You know, the new guy coming in, Charles Leclerc, getting more pole positions than anyone last year. Uh, and Sebastian Vettel, the four-time world champion. So two very talented drivers. I think after that first year together, now they can really work as a team, focus on fighting uh, Mercedes, not just fighting each other. Um, so that would be interesting. Uh, I think Red Bull, you know, um, with their new uh, engine partner last year, they did a great job this year is a very important year for them to be fighting for the World Championship and they've got Max Verstappen. A lot of experience for such a, a young guy. Uh, very, very talented, probably in terms of natural ability, the most talented. Uh, and his new teammate, Albon, who's, who's had one year in Formula One and been through two teams already. Yeah. So uh, this year, uh, hopefully, he, he can really knuckle down and, and get the best out of himself because I don't think we've really seen that yet. How, how difficult is that for a team and for the drivers when you've got two, cha two drivers who could potentially be the world champion? You've been, you've been in that position before. How difficult is that dynamic? It's, it's a tough one, but... I think it needs to be managed well, and I don't think it was maybe at certain points last year uh, within Ferrari. Uh, I think uh, Sebastian now understands how quick his teammate is. 
Uh, and I think that I think they'll have a, a much better relationship this year. And they obviously want to beat each other, but I do think that that pairing is very strong. Uh, you know, I, in terms of setting up a car, Sebastian looks very good at doing that. You know, he spends more hours than anyone with the engineers and trying to fine tune things here and there. But when the pressure was on, he came unstuck, didn't he? He, he did, but I think that's because when, it, when there's a new guy, there's a young gun in your team. We found it with Fernando Alonso and, uh, and Lewis Hamilton when they were teammates in, 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 uh, in McLaren. So it's... Uh, it does hurt the experienced driver a little bit, but once you get over that and you think, look at him as an equal, uh, it's very different. And I think that uh, they will work well, well together. I hope they do, because it, it's important for the championship. Yeah. Uh, in other words, uh, that we heard from Toto Wolff today was his concern expressed around the Chinese Grand Prix. He hopes that that's going to go ahead surrounding uh, the concerns of the coronavirus. As a driver, would you be concerned going out there? Uh, I think as a driver, you, you understand that Formula One and the FIA have your best interest at heart, and that's that's the most important thing. And it's, you know, a Formula One driver has a voice, whereas all of the guys, all the mechanics and people working in Formula One don't have a voice so much mm. in terms of saying, I don't want to go there, I don't think it's right for me to be going there at this moment in time, I've got a family or what have you. But Formula One will make the right decision, um, and, and the Chinese um, team of people putting on the Grand Prix will do the right thing, I'm, I'm sure. Your former team, McLaren, they launched their car a little bit later this week, although we've had a sneak preview of it already, thanks to Lando Norris, I think. How do you see their, uh, their fortunes this season? Because it's been tough going for McLaren recently. Uh, it, it has. They've gone, they did go through a very tough period, and, and I was part of that. Um, but um, now they're definitely on the, on the up. You know, last year, I think it was, it was refreshing to see two teammates you know, enjoying themselves in Formula One and, and, and the way the team is progressing, they're in a great spot with those two drivers. Both young, hungry. Uh, Carlos Sainz has a lot of experience in Formula One, even though he's young. Um, and Lando Norris, who I think is a real breath, breath of fresh air for, for Formula One and for, for British fans. So it's, it's a good team of people. Um, I think it's a, a very positive year, a good stepping stone to hopefully a, a great year in 2020. But I really think that team is, is the team to really get excited about for 2021 when the, when the regulations change in Formula and One. And just, just talk us through how things will change after this season. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know all the details, but uh, there's a lot changing. And those, those years are always the fun ones because you see um, teams coming up with new ideas. Obviously, when I won the World Championship with Braun, that was a regulation change year. So the cars look different. Um, there's going to be less downforce in, in 2021. They're trying to make the racing even better. You know, now it's quite difficult to follow the car in front um, because of the disrupted air behind the, the car in front. The car behind can't get close enough. It loses downforce with that disrupted air. In 2021, they're changing that. So you can run closer. The racing, the fighting will be better. Uh, and it's who can really get get to grips with those new regulations uh, uh, quickly. And, and McLaren are a very good team at doing that, so I'm, I'm excited to see. How significant is that? You know, can we glean how the season will go from the early signs and testing? Uh, the teams will know. But they don't give it all away. How competitive they are. But uh, I mean, last winter, the Ferraris were... Yeah. You know, no, nobody could match the Ferraris. Uh, but they, they didn't win the World Championship, and they were far from winning the World Championship. So. Uh, the teams will know, you know, um, who, how competitive they are. Um, it's always interesting to, to see the long run. I think the long runs are the more interesting thing. So when they put fuel in the car, they do a, a race run, they call it. So they do 20 laps, then they'll stop for tyres and do another 20 laps. I mean, there's a lot of data to go through, but that's when you can really see um, who, is, who is competitive and who isn't. I'm sure it'll be Lewis. No doubt yeah. it'll be Lewis Hamilton. Well, what, what's it like for you now when you're watching and working at these big races? Do you ever get tempted to get back in the driving seat? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a funny one because I thought when I left Formula 1, I'd be like, you know, I've had my career. I've raced for, for 16 years. and I, I raced in Monaco in 2017 as well because uh, Fernando Alonso didn't drive for McLaren. He raced the Indy 500, so I jumped in his car, loved it. And, I, you know, when I go out and watch on the circuit, um, the races that I go to when I'm working, uh, I watch the car, uh, the cars, and it just blows my mind. Mm. What, what they, these cars can do and what these drivers can do with these cars, it's, it's, it, it takes my breath away. So, yeah, I do miss it at times, and I would love to get behind the wheel of so one you're again. available. <laughs> I'm available, yes. <laughs> if a seat comes up, you're yeah. available. But just yeah. tell us what you're up to at the moment, uh, from being a driver to uh, having your own team. 
Yeah, I have my own team. We actually announced today. Um, we, we've had a team for a, a year now. Uh, Jensen Team Rocket RGN, uh, and it's in GT Championship. Um, we've just announced today we're racing with a McLaren, which is great, in GT3. It's the McLaren 720S. Uh, we're racing in the, the GT World Challenge in Europe. So um, really exciting. And uh, if you ever do see the car, you'll understand which one's mine because it's certain colors that I raced back in 2009. So, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful looking car. Let me car. think, green, black, clear. no, white? Yeah, we call it yellow. <laughs> no, <laughs> yellow, but uh, no, GT cars, it's, it's a massive category now, and it's, it's nice to be a part of it. But in terms of me, I'm doing a, a lot of stuff with uh, Sky Sports F1, which is, which is exciting this year at F1 races. And I, and I might, I might have some racing as well later in the year. We'll we see. will see. Nice tease. Jensen, great to have you in. Thanks very much for your thoughts and we look forward to the new season. Thanks, Thanks. very much indeed.